think Evansville High School students are up to the challenge. It's time for Operation Hot Mess. Join 14 News and Clean Evansville Saturday, October 13th from 10 a.m. to noon. This will be an opportunity to rally around your community. The school with the largest percentage of participation will get a party thrown by 14 News and Heritage Federal Credit Union. Go to 14news.com for details. I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you to clean Evansville for Operation Hot Mess. I'm here to get some lipstick. You know, the ruby red kind. We have 47 shades of ruby red. I think you'd look best in a darker shade. You thought it's... No, it's for my, my wife, girl. Girl, my wife, Sharon. We're really close. Don't get caught out of your comfort zone. Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you a more efficient way to cool and heat with no duct work. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Live better. Call 812-424-5878 to live better with Schmidt Refrigeration. Looking for a way to reduce or eliminate your electric bill? There's never been a better time to invest in solar energy. Morton Solar & Wind, the premier renewable energy company in the Midwest, is currently working with residential and commercial customers in the tri-state to install solar energy systems and save them money. Solar panel prices are at an all-time low, while utility rates are at an all-time high. Payback has never been better. Call us to find out how we can help you power your home or business with free energy from the sun. Neighborhood Network is sponsored by Loppy Heating and Air and Carrier. Since 1922, generations have turned to the experts at Loppy for all their indoor comfort needs. 425-9464. WFIE. This is Midday with Mike. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mike Blake, and welcome to Midday with Mike for this Friday, October 5th, 2012. As we head toward the weekend, I hope your day is going well. It is great to have you with us. Got a lot of nice people for you to meet in just a moment, starting with Jeff Head of Heads Constructions. He'll take your home improvement calls. Carol Young and Kristen Partenheimer Underwood will tell us about the Pulmonary Fibrosis Partners event, Cruising Toward a Cure, because breathing matters. District Chief Dan Grimm from the Evansville Fire Department talks about the upcoming public safety fair. Steve Rehm updates us on a remarkable young man and prayers for Lane Goodwin Walkathon. That's in Connect with Mike. And then a little later, the sheriff, Eric Williams, will answer your law enforcement questions. But first, got a question about home improvement? Got a leak or got something that you say, hey, I want to get a room ready for the fall? Got a good man to talk to? Just get to the phone. Jeff Head can be reached from Head's Construction, 433-3456-1800. 959-1414. Delighted to welcome Jeff back to midday and as we await your calls. Folks, insulation is a key in the house. This is called fan fold. What's that? What's, what are the perks about that? Uh, all right. I brought the fan fold in here today because of all the hailstorms that happened in uh, Hobstock and Fort Branch and Oakland City and Chandler and on the north end of Newburgh. Um, this here is a, this is what we call a fan fold. This is an insulation. Uh, a house really needs to have either a house wrap or a fan fold. Now this here, with, what's showing up on the camera right now is what we call, it's a quarter inch fan fold. It actually says fan fold siding underlayment. Now if you put that on correctly and you tape the joints, that will give you a bit of an R value. That does, what do you mean by that? Whenever I say R value, whenever you buy insulation, it, it'd be like an R13 or an R19. That means the resistance to heat flow. It keeps the heat out in the uh, summertime and keeps the uh, warm air in in the wintertime. This, this is not very heavy stuff. In fact, it's like paper thin. <laughs> is, and that's for a reason? Well, it's yeah, it's quarter inch because if it got too thick, you'd have to uh, change all your J channels and all the accessories that go along with a uh, vinyl siding job. Can the same insulation, we just went through a brutal summer, Jeff, with the heat. Hopefully, we won't have a brutal winter with the cold, but does the same insulation work year round and for years at a time? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, again, the R value is the it keeps the hot air from uh, filtering into the house in the uh, summertime, and it keeps the uh, hot warm air in in the uh, winter time. Now you also brought always good when it's show and tell. This is uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, this here if. Now, what we're talking about today will not matter to a, a whole lot of people, but to a whole lot of people it will because of the, a lot of siding is being replaced right now. So this here is just another option you can upgrade. Uh, the insurance companies are paying a lot to get the siding on there. You can spend a few dollars more and really get yourself, really get yourself, uh, your house insulated. Because we can show, get a side view of that right there. Okay. That foam 
that insulation siding is actually attached uh, to that siding. And that will give you more of an R value uh, when you use it. It's a little bit more expensive because the foam siding is, is thicker than that quarter inch stuff that we had there. Hey, don't go away. We'll get more good comments about R value and everything else, but we want to hear from you when we come back. The number is 433 3456 1 800 959 1440. Call now. Friday's Kentucky Mega Millions jackpot is $21 million. Come down this weekend to the Super Flea Market, where hundreds of dealers have thousands of items, all at low, low prices. Also, be sure to visit our shop next door, Super Flea Market 2. New, used, big, or small, the Super Flea Market has it all. Check us out at I-164 in Kentucky Avenue. I never realized how much my smile was affecting my income. I'm a waitress, and my teeth were so bad. I used to cover my mouth. I would never smile. But you can't get good tips that way. Aspen Dental showed me a payment plan that even I could afford. Right now, get payments as low as $25 per month. And new patients get a free exam and x-rays. That's a savings of $180. Call 1-800-ASPEN DENTAL. not really my strong suit, but I get by. Figured out how to program my thermostat, and that saves me 280 bucks a year. Just by pushing a few buttons. Not bad, huh? What can you do? Find out at togetherwesave.com. Energy saving tips brought to you by your local Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Together we save. Since 1975, the debates and discussion have continued about which is the best choice at Western Ribeye and Ribs. Is it the steak or is it the salad bar? Well, at long last, discriminating diners have finally decided the steaks and the salad bar are the very finest. Tender, juicy steaks are grilled to perfection, and the extensive salad bar is always fresh. Make your reservations today at Western Ribeye and Ribs in Evansville on Bakey Road, north of the Lloyd Expressway. Come down this weekend to the Super Flea Market, where hundreds of dealers have thousands of items, all at low, low prices. Also, be sure to visit our shop next door, Super Flea Market 2. New, used, big or small, the Super Flea Market has it all. Check us out at I-164 and Kentucky Avenue. Again, the lines are open. Jeff Head of Ed's Construction taking your calls. Thousands of people uh, have had their roofs damaged by hail uh, during the summer. Is it too late to get uh, you get to get them rep get rep due to the replacement? Can you get them fixed between now and the end of the year? We're going to do the best we can. I was I, I was telling you, but during the break that we uh, we have 127 roof jobs on the board to do as we speak. Um, we'll probably not get them all. We we will probably not get them all done. Um, there are some things we can do. We got a call. We'll take it. Okay, <laughs> hang on. Let's go to Robert in Evansville. Robert, good morning. Uh, okay, uh, I, I need some gutting on my house. Could you please tell me how much it would be uh, per, per uh, foot? I got a two-bedroom home. Okay. Robert, could you repeat that question? Uh, my mic was off over here, and I had to turn it on so I didn't hear, hear your whole question. Okay, I, uh, I got uh, a two-bedroom home, and on the front of my house, I, I need new gutters. Okay. Uh, how much would that be? It's, I always uh, hate to give a price on the air like this because I don't know there's all kinds of variables, but I can tell you this, that we can replace the gutters depending on if it's a five inch or a six inch, it's, you can figure about five to six dollars a lineal foot uh, to replace your gutters. That means the distance from the end to end. Robert, thank you very much for the call. As the cold weather comes, people are thinking more and more indoor, they want certain things done with their homes. A good time to say, you know what, I want it done before for the holidays. Now's the time to book it, right? Now is the time to um, now's the time to call and get your get your consultations and go ahead and get your estimates um, because we're already like, October fifth and time is flying. But yes, if you want to get something done, because everybody is busy. I mean, everybody around the tri-state worth a darn is busy right now. Getting back to the insulation factor, how can you tell when you're saying if, if you're just if it's unusually cool? Let's say your air conditioning is working, your furnace is working, but if it's too cool, too hot, pretty good indication something's wrong with the insulation. Well, yeah, my I had a house and my air conditioner 
um, it ran constantly and I got up in my attic and we added some, we, I blew in some insulation. I put about six, uh, six inches of the uh, blowed in fiberglass insulation and immediately, I mean immediately, my thermostat, I mean it, it went down and it, my air conditioner didn't run near as much. It, start, it started giving me a little bit of a relief. Folks, if you need more good information, you know where you can reach Jeff, just go on to our website, 14news.com. As always, our thanks to Jeff Head of Heads Construction. Have a good weekend, my friend. All right, sir. Thanks for coming in. And coming up next, Carol Young and Kristen Partenheimer Underwood are going to tell us about the PFP, the Pulmonary Fibrosis Partners, and a wonderful event coming up to benefit the those who are suffering from it and who are supporting it. We'll be right back. Adding gutter topper to your existing gutters eliminates the potential for possible damage to foundation, basement walls, mold, mildew, keeps you off the ladder and your home safe. For more information, go to 14news.com and click on Home Connections. Let me tell you about a very important phone call I made. When I got my Medicare card, I realized I needed an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance card, too. Medicare is one of the great things about turning 65, but it doesn't cover everything. In fact, it only pays up to 80% of your Part B expenses. If you're already on or eligible for Medicare, call now to find out how an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan, insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company, helps cover some of the medical expenses not paid by Medicare Part B. That can save you from paying up to thousands of dollars out of your own pocket. These are the only Medicare supplement insurance plans exclusively endorsed by AARP. When you call now, you'll get this free information kit with all you need to enroll. So you can join the millions of people who have already put their trust in AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance. Plus, you'll get this free guide to understanding Medicare. The prices are competitive. I can keep my own doctor. And I don't need a referral to see a specialist. Call now to get a free information kit. Plus, you'll get this free guide to understanding Medicare. And the advantages don't end there. Choose from a range of Medicare supplement plans that are all competitively priced. We have a plan for almost everyone, so you could find one that fits your needs and budget. With all Medicare supplement plans, there are virtually no claim forms to fill out. Plus, you can keep your own doctor and hospital that accepts Medicare. And best of all, these plans are the only Medicare supplement plans endorsed by AARP. When they told me these plans were endorsed by AARP... I had only one thing to say. Sign me up. Call the number on your screen now and find out about an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan. You'll get this free information kit and guide to understanding Medicare to help you choose the plan that's right for you. As with all Medicare Supplement Plans, you can keep your own doctor and hospital that accepts Medicare, get help paying for what Medicare doesn't, and save up to thousands of dollars. Call this toll-free number now. Every year, over 100,000 homeowners fall off ladders and are seriously injured. Adding gutter topper to your home can keep you off the ladder. You're in your home safe. For more information, go to 14news.com and click on Home Connections. To help us in the fight against pulmonary fibrosis, the Pulmonary Fibrosis Partners are going to support a wonderful event called Cruising Toward a Cure for PF because breathing matters. That's tomorrow, Saturday, October 6th. It'll be at Holland Municipal Park. And to tell us about it, first on my immediate left, the executive director of the PFP, Carol Young, and a young lady who's been responsible for putting together Cruising Toward a Cure for, P for PF. This is Kristen Partenheimer Underwood. Ladies, it's great to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you. Staggering, in incredible statistics regarding the pulmonary fibrosis. Just here in the tri state, what exactly is it, Carol? Pulmonary fibrosis is a condition where the lungs are scarred, and over time that scarring gets greater and greater, breathing gets more difficult, and eventually it does lead to death in most cases. Generally, the average lifespan is about three years after being diagnosed. And you put together, you help put together a wonderful organization called PFP Partners. What's the mission of the PFP Partners? Well, the mission of the partners is to get the word out to advocate on behalf of patients and the medical community. Um, one of the problems with pulmonary fibrosis is there are a lot of different kinds of lung diseases and it's very important to know exactly what it is that you're suffering from so that you can get the right kind of treatment. And this is a disease that gets misdiagnosed very often. Someone, someone who's very, has been very close to the disease, Kristen Partenheimer Underwood. Kristen, who was this remarkable guy named Douglas Partenheimer? 
It was my father. Um, he was first diagnosed in April 2006. Um, he had a cough that wouldn't go away, and we took him in and had found out that this is what he had. And right now, they told us the only treatment was for him to get a lung transplant. He loved cars, didn't he? He did. Um, so we, um, he died in uh, January 2010, and in October 2010, we started this car show in honor of him. Um, we have a car show. We have food stands. Um, this year, we're adding a 5K as well. We have a uh, cornhole tournament. Everything, all 100% of the proceeds go to the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. How important are sponsors for something like very, this? Very, very much. We're so grateful for our sponsors. Our sponsors of Medical Dubois, uh, Town and Country Four, Deaconess Hospital, um, United Consulting, and OFS Styline Brands. Carol, uh, this fight is 365 days a year. What's the message that you want to get out right now? But there's a lot of stuff down the road that we need to do, don't we? Yes, there is. And um, one of the most important things is that we're looking for funds for research. We actually partner with a couple of organizations, one of them the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation, which is a national organization out of Chicago. They are actually doing research, raising money for that. Our job here is to advocate, to partner, to bring the hospitals, the colleges, the community together um, to let people who may be suffering from this or their families know what is out there and what is being done in terms of research. We hope it's a huge success tomorrow. Again, it's the cruising for a cure, toward a cure for PF uh, because breathing matters. And our thanks to Kristen Hartenheimer Underwood and to Carol Young. Ladies, thanks for thanks very much. Hope you get a good day tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Hey, when we come back, we're going to be talking uh, with many, with a uh, with the fire district chief. We're going to be talking with uh, Dan Grimm about a uh, public safety fair. What's it all about? We'll find out when Midday with Mike continues. Neighborhood Networks is sponsored by your local carrier dealers. Save up to $1,350 on a carrier heating and cooling system. Turn to the experts, your local carrier dealers. My name is Edna Davenport. I'm a director of nursing at American Senior Communities. I love my job at ASC. Knowing that I have the ability to help someone heal and get better brings me joy. Every day I witness ASC staff go above and beyond, and not because it's our job, but because we love our residents and we love what we do. American Senior Communities, where caring people make the difference. Visit us at ASCSeniorCare.com for a location near you. We're the people at TRCI, and we'll come to your rescue. Mold is not only smelly and unpleasant to look at, it can also be dangerous to you and your family's health. Mold remediation by TRCI inspects, remediates, and restores to ensure the indoor air quality of your home or business. Call Mold Remediation by TRCI at 423-7066. We're the people at TRCI, and we'll come to your rescue. Imagine this is your car. Now imagine you're in a wreck. Injuries cost money. Car repairs, medical bills, pain and suffering. Call the girling firm. We could get you money the insurance company won't tell you about and without making you go to court. Imagine we do all the work with no money up front and could get you more. Car wreck? Call 888-GIRLING and imagine all the help you'll get from us. The Girling Firm is the one for me. 888 G-E-R-L-I-N-G. Nobody messes with the Girling Firm. Hello, I'm Chris Head of Heads Electric, and I approve this message. Over the past two years, we've done several remodeling projects on our home. Uh, we've used Heads Electric and been very satisfied with their work, and we encourage you to use Heads Electric in the future. My husband and I recently moved to the Evansville area and found ourselves in need of an electrician. Heads Electric was referred to us, and we've been greatly satisfied with the work that they've done. I would recommend them to anyone. Oh, and don't forget, use your head. Be safe. Call Heads Electric. 14 News is sponsored by Nutting Heating, Air, and Refrigeration, offering free estimates on new equipment. Call Nutting today about Carrier. Turn to the experts. With many different agencies taking part, Evansville's Fire Department is hosting a public safety fair. It'll be Sunday, October 21st, from noon until 4 p.m. at its headquarters. And for details of this important event, we're delighted to welcome the public information officer. He's also the district chief with Evansville Fire Department, Dan Grimm. Dan, nice to have you with us. This is Fire Prevention Month, October, so this is really a nice thing to tie in. How'd this thing come about? 
Well, uh, we used to have an open house, and that was to highlight the Evansville Fire Department. And this year, we decided to bring in the rest of our public safety community partners and let the community actually see uh, what all everybody can offer. I know you've got a lot of agencies, but it's a wide spectrum. Who are some of the agencies that will be taking well, part? Of course, we're hosting it. Uh, the Evansville Police Department, Sheriff's Office, Deaconess Hospital, AMR, Red Cross, uh, agencies like that. And something that I know people get a real kick out of watching, and I know the staff, the firefighters enjoy, there's going to be demonstration teams. What, what, what's that all about? Uh, actually, our special teams are going to be highlighted. We're going to have demonstrations of water rescue, high rise and rope rescue. Uh, we'll even have a uh, ladder truck there where people can go up in the basket uh, and, uh, and see the view we see, which is pretty good. Uh, and then we'll have uh, several displays like don't text and drive, the mayor's no myth task force, things like that. Also, uh, you got to be fit to stay fit to be a firefighter. Some guys are going on a marathon relay the day before. That's the 20th. Oh, yeah. Very proud of that team. It's uh, four guys, which are all over 40 years old. They're going to Indianapolis to be in a marathon relay. And uh, if the times are any indication, they may come home with a trophy. Isn't that something? Fantastic. As the district chief, uh, you've done a lot of good. By the way, we're going to be talking about a remarkable young guy named Lane Goodwin. The firefighters, kudos to you. You had a nice thing earlier this week at the Fall Festival, didn't you, in Lane's behalf? Yes. They did a thumbs up for Lane, which was at the whole fall festival, and we used one of our ladder trucks so we could video and record that. You know, uh, there are a lot of people uh, who look up to the fire department. Uh, can you always use a f few extra good men and women? Oh, absolutely. And we will be having our uh, application process start in the spring of next year. So anybody that's interested just need to be 21 years old, or you can go online to EvansvilleFireDepartment.com and fill out an application. But again, we're talking primarily about the, uh, it's the public fair on Sunday, uh, October 21st, free of charge, right? Absolutely, everything's free. We invite everybody to come down. And if you need more information, there's a phone number, 436-4412, 436-4412, area code 812. Dan Grimm, as always. Dan, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Great to have you. Hey, coming up next, we're going to tell you about the Prayers for Lane Goodwin Walkathon. Steve Rain joins us. That's in Connect with Mike. But first, check out the Kentucky Powerball and Mega Million jackpots. You're watching Midday with Mike, and we're back right after this. There's a lot you need to know in the morning. We've had some severe thunderstorm warnings. Posey, Gibson, northern sections of Vandenberg County. Thousands of lightning strikes. Marble-sized hail. Those brief gusty winds at 40 to 50 miles an hour. Be prepared before you go out. Turn to the weather leader. Thunder, lightning, scattered power outages. Expect some pea to marble-sized hail. Your plans start here. More news with less repetition. 14 News Sunrise, the Tri-State's news and weather leader. It's time for family fun on the farm at May's Farm Market in Evansville. Every weekend until the end of October, you can enjoy all our family-friendly activities like hay rides, pumpkin picking, corn maze, rat race, a 20-foot corn slide, and new this year, hop-along horse races. Visit the market for fall produce, decorations, candy, and a variety of breads from our bakery. Admission is only $7 for ages 2 and up. Family fun on the farm at May's Farm Market. One call can save you. When you're overwhelmed by debt, when you can't pay your bills, no matter what you do, you need a helping hand to stop the pain and get you back on course. Don't wait until your savings and retirement are gone. You lose your home or your wages are garnished. Call Dunlap and Nesmith, local lawyers, handling bankruptcies in Indiana and Kentucky with 49 years of combined experience. Call Dunlap and Nesmith. One call can save you. Hi. At Pine Haven Health and Rehabilitation Center on Evansville's west side, there is a long-standing tradition of caring. Caring for your loved ones with respect and dignity since 1957. Pine Haven has the things that make residents feel at home with a great nursing staff and rehabilitation team working to make them better. Call Pine Haven today or stop by on Stocker Drive just off Harmony Way. Need expert advice? Click on Ask the Expert at 14WFIE.com. Are you prepared for a power outage? Long or short, they are inconvenient. Let our certified technicians install a backup generator system for your home or business. 
When the power fails, the generator starts and transfers power automatically. There is nothing for you to do. For more details, call us at 425-9131 or visit us on the web at Shekel.com. Go to 14WFIE.com and click on Ask the Expert. If you've been watching the news lately, you're well aware of a young cancer patient, Lane Goodwin, who's been capturing the hearts of thousands of Tri-Staters. A lot of people giving a thumbs up to young Lane. And today on Connect with Mike, we're joined by Steve Rain. Steve is the assistant pastor of uh, Grace Point Church, and they're organizing a Prayers for Lane Goodwin walkathon. It's going to be a week from tomorrow, the 13th. It'll be at Harrison High School's Outstanding Football Complex. Delighted to win. Welcome the assistant pastor, Steve Rehm, to Midday. Steve, kudos to you for putting together this event. First of all, for people who have heard the name but they're not sure, who is this 13-year-old remarkable young man? Lane Goodwin is a, a young man from McLean County in Beech Grove, Kentucky, that's been battling cancer for the last few years. And they have developed a, a, a Team Lane on Facebook. One of Lane's goals uh, was to have 100,000 fans of his Facebook page. He has recently won over, I think, a quarter million just in the last week or two. I I know our Facebook page has been, I think I've got my facts right, been exploding. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, who's the uh, lovely lady with Mr. Brooks there? Uh, I, did, uh, tell I didn't us, see it, sorry. I, <laughs> that's okay. Tell me about, uh, so how did Grace Point Church get into this uh, movement? Well, I, I uh, do the same line of work as Lane's mom, Angie Goodwin. We both do Impact Plus work, and I work very closely with a few of the members of Team Lane from the very beginning that have known the Goodwin family for several years now. Is Angie uh, overwhelmed? And certainly, I, I know she deeply appreciates what's been going on, but the response has been unbelievable, mm -hmm. has yes, it not? Sir. Yeah, the, the support that they've, that they've received and the love and just how much attention it's getting is really, uh, it's amazing to, to me and to them also. One of, one of the other things that Lane wanted to come from this, one of his prayers has been that there would be more awareness of childhood cancer. And that's one thing that is definitely being brought to the forefront by, by this event in itself. And also, you picked Harrison Football Com Complex. Mm -hmm. Wonderful facility. Uh, what, what went into the choice of that? Well, um, we, we started setting this up uh, just uh, about a week and a half ago, and I was going to try to have it at, at one of the neighborhood parks, but it, it was difficult to obtain the permits, and, and so I ended up talking to the athletic director at Harrison, and he was very welcoming and very, you know, just very accommodating, and we decided to go with that venue. It's easy. It's a, it's a good location right off the Lloyd Expressway. And you yeah. You got it. And that's Brian Spiro. Uh, kudos to Brian yes, and his sir. staff. He's the AD at Harrison. Don't go away. When we come back, they got a wonderful uh, guest keynote speaker prior to the walk. We'll walk you through. There's a lot of things going on in the Prayers for Lane Goodwin walkathon. We'll fill you in in detail when Midday with Mike continues. Come on back. Let me tell you about a very important phone call I made. When I got my Medicare card, I realized I needed an AARP Medicare supplement insurance card, too. Medicare is one of the great things about turning 65, but it doesn't cover everything. In fact, it only pays up to 80% of your Part B expenses. If you're already on or eligible for Medicare, call now to find out how an AARP Medicare supplement insurance plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company helps cover some of the medical expenses not paid by Medicare Part B. That can save you from paying up to thousands of dollars out of your own pocket. These are the only Medicare supplement insurance plans exclusively endorsed by AARP. When you call now, you'll get this free information kit with all you need to enroll. So you can join the millions of people who have already put their trust in AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance. Plus, you'll get this free guide to understanding Medicare. The prices are competitive. I can keep my own doctor. And I don't need a referral to see a specialist. Call now to get a free information kit. Plus, you'll get this free guide to understanding Medicare. And the advantages don't end there. Choose from a range of Medicare supplement plans that are all competitively priced. We have a plan for almost everyone, so you could find one that fits your needs and budget. With all Medicare supplement plans, there are virtually no claim forms to fill out. Plus, you can keep your own doctor and hospital that accepts Medicare. And best of all, these plans are the only Medicare supplement plans endorsed by AARP. When they told me these plans were endorsed by AARP, I had only one thing to say. Sign me up. 
Call the number on your screen now and find out about an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan. You'll get this free information kit and guide to understanding Medicare to help you choose the plan that's right for you. As with all Medicare Supplement Plans, you can keep your own doctor and hospital that accepts Medicare, get help paying for what Medicare doesn't, and save up to thousands of dollars. Call this toll-free number now. And uh, this is all the pertinent information for a wonderful event. It's a week from Saturday. Prayers for Lane Goodwin Walkathon. Uh, it's uh, helped organized by Steve Rehm, our guest here on Connect with Mike. Uh, again, this is rain or shine, right? Yes, sir. Let me, putting on an event like this, you, you, sometimes you have months, folks, if you work for, if you know a lot of people that work on organization, with organizations that put on walkathons, they work on it year round. You put this thing together, what, in a couple weeks? Yeah, it's, it's been a little bit less than two weeks. Um, I, a, a member from our church, Elaine Epley, had contacted me not last Friday but the Friday before, and she had the idea. And she wanted me to try to make some phone calls and see what we could do to get it done. And literally from that Friday until last Friday, we got all the details worked out. Let's talk about, you got a wonderful keynote speaker, a yes, guy sir. that's close to the fight of children's cancer. Yes, Dr. Michael Titzer from uh, Oncology and Hematology Associates of Evansville. Uh, I contacted him again in, in that week's time. You know, we're putting this together in a, a very short amount of time. He was very gracious and agreed to come and speak. He's going to speak about childhood cancer research. He's going to talk about a support group that he has in the area and, and I believe share a, a part of his story as well. Dr. Uh, Titzer, of course, is part of that dream team from Oncology and Hematology Associates. They're one of the driving forces uh, behind Race for the Cure. Steve, uh, as an assistant pastor, this hits the, I mean, you were certainly moved. Yes, what sir. have parishioners told you and said, hey, good for you, let's, let's get behind this kid? Well, and, and that's, that's essentially what's happened. Um, I woke up a couple of Sunday mornings ago before church, and, and I just had a very heavy burden for Lane, and I wasn't very close to the situation at that time but I just began to pray for it and, and it was that following Friday when the opportunity arose to start making these phone calls and set it up our church has gotten behind it we've put some thumbs up pictures for Lane on Facebook we've been praying for him every service praying for him daily just trying to support him as much as we can there's no charge to come to the walkathon but there you see the key information donation information if you could just uh, send a check to that PO box number and yes, that's sir. down Beach Grove Kentucky yes, right sir. hey before we get away Thumbs up, Thumbs right, up, Lane. for Lane Goodwin and for all of you who will be supporting the wonderful prayers for Lane Goodwin Walkathon a week from Saturday, Harrison High School Football Complex. I hope it's a great day. It's a wonderful place to have such an event. Steve Rehm, kudos, kudos to you and to the church for getting behind this. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming in. Hey, when we come back, you got a question about law enforcement? Our Ask the Expert guest today, Chief Deputy Dave Wedding, can certainly help get to the phone. These are the numbers for Ask the Expert coming up next. Adding gutter topper to your existing gutters eliminates the potential for possible damage to foundation, basement walls, mold, mildew, keeps you off the ladder and your home safe. For more information, go to 14news.com and click on Home Connections. The issue, jobs. The candidates, Richard Murdoch and Joe Donnelly. Murdoch opposes job-killing tax hikes, regulations, and debts. Donnelly has voted for higher taxes, government health care, and trillions in new debt. But what would a vote for Joe Donnelly really mean? It would mean a U.S. Senate controlled by liberals with more taxes and debt from Washington and less jobs for Indiana. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this advertising. Joe Donnelly said yes to the Obama-Pelosi bankrupting, job-killing agenda. Yes to trillions in new spending. And yes to Obamacare. Donnelly said yes to their plan to cut Medicare for seniors by billions, paid for by massive middle-class tax increases. A vote for Joe Donnelly is a vote for the Obama-Pelosi agenda. Say no to their yes man. The National Republican Senatorial Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. My name is Edna Davenport. I'm a director of nursing at American Senior Community. I love my job at ASC. Knowing that I have the ability to help someone heal and get better brings me joy. 
Every day I witness ASC staff go above and beyond, and not because it's our job, but because we love our residents and we love what we do. American Senior Communities, where caring people make the difference. Visit us at ASCSeniorCare.com for a location near you. My name's Isaiah Scott, and I'm a certified nursing assistant for American Senior Community. I love coming to work for ASC every day for one reason, to see my residents. I love them. I know that I'm helping them, and when they give me a smile of thanks, it makes me feel 10 feet tall. It's just like a big family here. American Senior Communities, where caring people make the difference. Visit us at ASCSeniorCare.com for a location near you. Every year, over 100,000 homeowners fall off ladders and are seriously injured. Adding gutter topper to your home can keep you off the ladder, you're in your home safe. For more information, go to 14news.com and click on Home Connections. Check out the new Follow Weekends at SantaClausIND.org. Have a question about law enforcement, a concern? Just pick up the phone. Chief Deputy Dave Wedding with the Vanderbilt County Sheriff's Office is here. 433-34. 561-800-959-1414. Delighted to welcome the Chief Deputy back to midday as we await your calls. Folks, at least uh, conservatively, I would think, Dave, what, 10 to 15,000 people per day or night have been going down to the Fall Festival. This is a, this is a concern for all law enforcement, right? Yeah, I think any time you have any community where you have a large gathering of people uh, beginning early in the morning, going late into the evening, uh, the chance of problems certainly goes up. Uh, and we have people from all walks of life down there and uh, sometimes people come down there they've been drinking in an intoxicated state and then they can cause a little bit of problems uh, and, and with the large number of people the propensity to have someone who might want to create a, a theft or, or bother people it rises too so uh, I think this week's been an uneventful week we've had a few arrests for people under the influence of alcohol they did have one theft the other night, the Evans Police Department reported, and I talked to Assistant Police Chief Chris Pugh this morning, and he said that they're really handling it pretty well with the officer presence down there, so problems have been kind of light. Let's go to the phones. Let's go to Barbara in Evansville. Barbara, go ahead. Hello. Hello there. I, I was wondering if, if you're still having problems with vandalism. I know uh, where I live. We've had problems, and I think they've gotten some of the younger boys that were on the street doing some vandalism. And I I'm heard just on the news that there was more where they were spray painting. Have you got anything on that? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, the, the Evansville Police Department was a victim of vandalism the other night. Uh, someone spray painted graffiti on their West Sector office. but. That person was apprehended in the area. Uh, vandalism is one of those crimes that occurs randomly in our community, both in the city and the county. So uh, we're always looking for perpetrators. Sometimes they're hard to catch because they may do things late at night and they don't leave behind a lot of evidence. So, uh, but if you're a victim of a uh, vandalism, please contact law enforcement. We come out, take a report, and look into it and see if we can catch the perpetrator. Barbara, thank you very much. Let's thank go. You. Let's go to Catherine in Jasper. Catherine, good morning. Good morning. What I'd like to know, do you have to have your driver's license with you at all times? If you're stopped and you don't have your driver's license, are you fine or do you have time to get so many hours? To uh, no, under, under the Indiana statute, uh, to operate a motor vehicle in our state, you must have your driver's license on your person while you're operating the vehicle. Now, an officer does not have to cite you. It's their discretion, but you could be subjected to a, a traffic citation that may be as much as 100 or so dollars. So I say if you're operating your vehicle, you want to have your driver's license on you, you want to have your registration in your vehicle, and you certainly want to have proof of reg or check proof of insurance. And if you carry all three of those items, you should be fine when you're stopped by law enforcement. Catherine, thank you for the call. Stick around, Chief Deputy. We're coming right back. More questions, more good answer. Again, these are the numbers. The lines will stay open as Ask the Expert continues.
Byway or the Highway. I certainly think that uh, bipartisanship ought to consist of Democrats coming to the Republican point of view. Mr. Murdoch's point is that any movement that happens should not come from the Republicans. It should only come from the yeah, Democrats. See, I, don't know, I obviously don't agree with that. To me, the highlight of politics, frankly, is to inflict my opinion on someone else. Murdoch attacks Social Security as unconstitutional and sued to kill Chrysler Auto Jobs. My Way or the Highway, wrong for Indiana families. I'm Joe Donnelly, and I approve this message. I'm Larry Bouchon, and I approve this message. Liberal career politician Dave Crooks on Barack Obama? Crooks calls him My Guy Obama. My guy. That explains why Dave Crooks is falsely attacking conservative Dr. Larry Bouchon to hide Crooks' endorsement of Obama and his support of Obamacare. My guy. Even though it cuts Medicare, raises taxes, and costs Indiana jobs. Liberal Dave Crooks. Government-run health care, higher taxes, less jobs? He's not our guy. He spent his life fighting for our values. Tom Washburn, raised in Princeton, Indiana, Tom Washburn believes in the conservative ideas that define Southwest Indiana. Endorsed by Indiana Right to Life, Tom will protect the unborn. Tom Washburn is ready to lead. Tom will focus on job creation and fight to slash wasteful government spending and overregulation. Let's send a rock solid conservative to fight for us in Indianapolis. Let's vote for Tom Washburn. I'm Dave Crooks, and I approve this message. China. Their exports to the U.S., $400 billion last year. How do they do it? They set their currency rates low to make the price of Chinese products cheaper. Mitt Romney and Barack Obama both agree it's cheating. But Congressman Larry Bouchon voted against imposing tariffs to stop China from cheating. Our jobs have left for China, and Larry Bouchon says it's all free trade. He's wrong. Before you can drop off the kids, there's a lot you need to know. Your plans start here. More news with less repetition. 14 News, the Tri-State's news and weather leader. Chief Deputy Dave Wedding taking our calls. Let's go to uh, Walter in Lawrenceville, Illinois. Walter, good morning. How you doing? Good. Well, how you doing? Just fine. Hey, I would just, I need to uh, give you a question there. When I go into Indiana and I'm on uh, four-lane highway, and there's uh, traffic coming into the highway, merging in. They're supposed to merge. They seem to want to take you right away away from you. Are you supposed to change lanes and get away from these people or stand your ground and stay there? Well, I, I would say you gotta use a little common sense there and some courteous driving habits. If you're on a highway and you see a vehicle getting ready to merge onto the highway, if you could just change lanes and get into the opposing lane or the opposite lane of traffic, and uh, that person can easily merge in. Uh, generally, as they're approaching the highway, uh, they should yield to you. Right. Uh, but it's one of those things you would hope that everybody just use a little common sense and the person driving, if they merge over, then that person can easily access the highway because when you have congested driving conditions, it just helps traffic flow much smoothly if yeah. everybody can keep going. And it might mean for you to merge over to the other lane well, that person tries to get into your traveled lane. Walter, thank you very much for your call. Let's go to Aaron in Evansville. Aaron, please go, please go ahead. Uh, yes, could you tell me how you stopped the gangs here in Evansville? How we stopped the gangs here in Evansville? Well, I'm not sure we can stop the gangs in Evansville. Uh, we do have law enforcement officers committed to uh, working gang activity in our community. and. Fortunately, Evansville isn't an area that has a large gang population like they do maybe out in Los Angeles or in, in larger communities in our states. Uh, but we, we keep intelligence on them, and when we find out they're in and around the Evansville area, we watch them, and if we find out they're doing any criminal activity, they're usually subject to arrest. We try to get them off the street as quick as possible. So uh, I think we do a good job here in our community of watching the, the gang activity and acting upon them when they're committing criminal activity as well. Aaron, thank you for the call. For 91 years, the Fall Festival has been one of the most wonderful events of its kind. Second largest street fe festival, second only to Mardi Gras. Safety, they really emphasize it, don't they? And that's a good, they, the, the first thing, they want everybody, especially the children, to be safe. Uh, that's, that is one of our most important priorities. Uh, the Sheriff's Office, we keep a booth staffed by deputies throughout the day and parents can bring a young child. We will put a bracelet on their wrist with the parent's cell phone number so if the 
child became separated from a parent, they could go to law enforcement or a nut clubber. Uh, they would pull the bracelet off and call the parent and get them back to the parent right away. There's also a large force of Evansville police officers and sheriff's deputies down there that assist people when there are problems. Our thanks to Chief Deputy Dave Wedding. You know where you can get more information from him, 14news.com. Chief Deputy, have a great weekend. My thanks to Elizabeth Height for filling in yesterday, doing a wonderful job filling in on Midday with Mike. See you Monday. He spent his life fighting for our values. Tom Washburn, raised in Princeton, Indiana, Tom Washburn believes in the conservative ideas that define Southwest Indiana. Endorsed by Indiana Right to Life, Tom will protect the young born. Tom Washburn is ready to lead. Tom will focus on job creation and fight to slash wasteful government spending and overregulation. Let's send a rock solid conservative to fight for us in Indianapolis. Let's vote for Tom Washburn. Indiana has two paths. Richard Murdoch made Indiana government accountable and efficient. But Joe Donnelly's Washington path veers left. He voted for the Obama-Pelosi stimulus, a taxpayer-funded Wall Street bailout, even Obamacare. Donnelly follows Obama and Pelosi going the wrong way. Richard Murdoch will balance the budget, keep taxes low, repeal Obamacare, a path to more jobs and a better economy. I'm Richard Murdoch, and I approve this message. At Graber Post Buildings, we've just received two national awards, another Gold Key of Excellence Award from Rural Builder Magazine, and we're also among the nation's top 100, according to Pro Sales Magazine, ranking 34th in the country among all building materials companies. That means if you're a Graber Post customer, you're assured of some of the nation's top products, service, and price. That's why more and more people are choosing Graber Post for their next building or roofing project. Call us today, and let's get building. Come in during the Columbus Day event at Ashley Furniture Home Store and discover our new vintage casual collection. Fashionable furniture at fabulous prices. Right now, get up to 48 months no interest on living rooms, bedrooms, and dining rooms. A whole new look, same great value. Get up to 48 months no interest during the Columbus Day event. Get more style without paying more at Ashley Furniture Home Store in Evansville. This is common, right? Not, not to feel the heartbeat. I, I mean, it's happened with Dr. Nat before. The baby was just in a, in a weird position. Let's do an ultrasound, okay? We'll see what's going on. Okay. I think the world of you, Jennifer. I, I always have. But our, our, uh, our lives are just going in completely opposite directions. Okay, I'm not really sure I know what that means. Well, you, you're coping with your grief over Jack, trying to rebuild your life, and I, I, I made a commitment to being there with Nicole and that baby, and we are both consumed with, with what we feel we have to do right now. Okay, so that precludes our being friends. Yeah, friends, Jennifer. Um, I just, I, I, I don't, I don't see it. Sorry. It's okay. So what are what are we? Are we acquaintances? I mean, should we even call ourselves that? Should I even acknowledge you when we're in the same room together? That can't be what you really want. I think that's the best thing. Never. You have no idea how much. Talk later. Kiss now. Yeah. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. So you're happy, you're good. I mean, this chief of staff thing, it's quite a responsibility. You know, I, I like it. Um, it's distracting. And since we started the divorce proceedings, I, I don't have any complaints. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's, that's when it works out best. You need a distraction from home, work fills in. But um, if work takes over and causes problems at home, that's when it's not so good. Is that what's going on with you? Yeah, kind of. Work is getting more and more frustrating. Ah, well, the buzz is that you're thinking about a career change. Yeah. Whatever he decides, I...